Hey guys, uh, this is Matt, and I just wanted to do some more uh, calculations with you today. Um, I kind of covered what I guess you could call like the reciprocal of these two examples in my last video, so I just want to uh, show you how to basically go the other way when you're given the ratio but need to figure out the FiO2. Uh, there was a couple of questions, guys. This is the chart. I just hand wrote it out. <laughs> Uh, these are kind of your common uh, ratios or concentrations that you would have in something like a Venturi mask. Uh, so these are the ones that are kind of nice to memorize. But uh, I'm going to also show you a trick today, uh, another formula, so that if in this case, like if you didn't know 10 to 1 is 28%, how could you figure that out if you didn't just know that? So uh, a couple of quick examples here. So uh, this first question says, what is the FiO2 when six liters of air is mixed with two liters of O2? Well, we could deduce that a six to two ratio is a three to one ratio. The answer is 40%. So again, uh, if you know this chart, you can figure this out fairly quickly. If you don't know the chart, there is a trick. Point two one, the percentage of oxygen that exists in room air times that room air value, six liters. So two point, uh, point two one times six plus one, which is 100% oxygen, times uh, the volume there that we're giving of oxygen, so two. All right, guys, so now all of that is going to get divided by the sum of the, of the given ratio. So in this case, uh, uh, 6 plus 2 is 8. Now if we go through that math, we know that uh, 6 times 0 0.21 should give us 1.26. Uh, and that's going to be added to 2 over 8. Keep working it down guys, you're gonna get 3.26 divided by 8. And if you do the long division, uh, 8 divided by 3.26, you're gonna get, uh, let's see, it's gonna be 4, 32, 0, drop a 6. Alright, now I could keep going. But I can tell you right now that, as I already proved up here, a 1 to 3 ratio is already dictated to be 40%. There's, there's your answer. So when you're given a ratio and not specifically told the FI2, you're told to find the FI2 or approximate the FI2, and you don't have this memorized, you can work through it using this formula. One more example. So in this case, it's not even a situational, not even like a 6 liters to 2 liter. They literally just give you the ratio. Now again, I know 1 to 10 is 28%. But you can do you can plug these numbers into this equation to get the same result. So I'm just going to do that real fast for you. Or 0.21 times, in this case, 10. And guys, generally speaking, the bigger number in the ratio, if it says 10 to 1 or 1 to 10, the, the bigger number is usually going to be the, uh, the room air. You know other I guess a 60% or 100% obviously in these kind of common ones aren't but plus 1.0 times 1 over 11 all right now you're going to get uh let's see that's 2 uh, 2 plus 1 equals so I guess I'm just like kind of pencil whipping this 3.1 over 11 if you do the long division guys 11 uh, over 3.1 it's gonna be 0 0.2 let's see Well, 
Again, I could keep going, but 0.28, Look up at our common here, 10 to 1, 28%, 28, there's our answer. All right, guys, so again, sorry, let me try to get this guy into focus here a little bit. There's that chart again for you. I I suggest memorizing it. Um, you know, there's been talk about the, the, the magic box, too. Um, that was in my, my text. I, I looked it up last night. Um, just because I was taught this way, this is just the way I'm doing it. If you're taught the magic box, go with it. You know, it's not a right or wrong way to do it. This is just another way to do it. Um, and like I promised, guys, <clears throat> I also have this uh, air entrainment mask. So nothing super special about it, right? Uh, but what's really interesting are, are these guys here. So these are the, the pieces that really make this air entrainment mask uh, introduce that Venturi principle. So you have the, the entrainment ports on the sides and then so all those entrainment ports can vary in size. But then the the aperture, and this is kind of hard to see, let me get you on a white background there. So you can kind of see that's a pretty big hole, right? And you're probably not going to be able to read that. But this is a 50% uh, FiO2. You can kind of see it there. It also even gives you a suggested uh, liters per minute value there. So 10 liters per minute for 50% entrainment. Uh, kind of a uh, harsh drastic. So you can kind of see, see how little that little white speck is down in there? This is a 20, uh, let's say a 24%? Yeah, 24% entrainment with a suggested liters per minute value of four. So you can see how tiny that is. So it's just the, the aperture. So uh, you guys probably know this if you've been uh, going over the Venturi or Bernoulli principle. That's why it's so important to know uh, FiO2, but the relationship of flow versus FiO2. Guys, if this entrainment adapter for 24% oxygen is on this mask, the flow could be set to 2 liters. It could be set to 15 liters. The percentage of oxygen that the FiO2 does not change unless the size of that little tiny hole in there is, is increased or decreased. So uh, flow never affects FiO2 in terms of, uh, it, it's just, it's just how fast they're getting the air, but it doesn't actually change this percentage of, uh, the, or the fraction of inspired oxygen here. So, and again, this is kind of just a, this is a basic setup, uh, I got from lab. We, everybody in class opened one and we all played with our little simulator. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, most hospitals I've heard will have more like adjustable. So instead of having like a, a gang of these guys and having to go and look, um, you'll have an adjustable one. So you can kind of dial in an FiO2 as opposed to having to change. But it's the idea is the same. You change the size of that big old hole inside. Guys, you can change the, the FiO2. So, Anyways, guys, that's all I had for you today. Um, I'm going to get this posted up. And then I'll do one more video on uh, the ideal alveolar gas equation. So that's when you need to, to measure a partial pressure of uh, gas in the alveolar sacs. Uh, kind of an important thing when you're talking about a, a diffusion of gases across the uh, alveolar capillary membrane. So, hey guys, take care, have a great day, and I will see you guys soon.